You bring your phone everywhere. Work, school, Shh. the movies. Now you can bring it to an Xfinity store for an easy way to switch to Xfinity Mobile, a new kind of network designed to save you money. You can get up to five lines of talk and text included with Xfinity Internet at no extra cost, so all you pay for is data. It's never been easier to switch to Xfinity Mobile and keep the phone you love. Click here to see how. Sorry, I gotta take this. Restrictions apply. Limited to select mobile phones. Requires activation of a new line of Xfinity Mobile. Up to five devices per account. New Xfinity Internet customers limited to up to two lines pending activation of Internet service. I'm gonna have to go live, okay? Okay. Hi, you guys. Ha, ha. Hi, you guys. You got to be flexible. Yay, yay. Hi, you guys. This is Good Deeds, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. Woo! You got to be flexible. Amen. <laughs> Just take a deep breath in and out. That's right. That's life. You will have stuff come up at the last minute. You will have stuff that you don't even know what's really going on. But with, this is Good Deeds, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. I have the awesome opportunity of being your host. The thing about it is, you know what? The purpose you were born, the things that make you feel so funny inside, you got to actually know what you know. You actually got to realize that sometimes you will have to get, you feel some kind of way. Let me just be, can I be real? Sometimes you feel some kind of way. But let me tell you, don't feel that way because you know what? We do have to have ups and downs. We do have to have that part of life that we say, wait a minute, what's really going on here? But you know what? We have to be tried. We have to go into that uncharted area Mm -hmm. that you actually can move forward in life. That's what we do here at Good Deeds. We help you shine that light to the world. And that light is your dreams, your goals, your passions, the reason you were born, the reason you're here right now is to take away the need of somebody else, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) I know you don't want to say yeah, but that's it. We'll do a Lisa Nichols, yes, yes, okay? But the thing about it is, mm, the things that you think about all the time, the things that you dream about, it's going to help somebody else in life. That's what we got to realize when we do things. It's not about us. It's all about helping somebody else move forward and what this journey we call life, right? And that's what we do here at Good Deeds. We help you with that. But let's get to the question. They trying to hand me a question, Jesus. <laughs> What are they going to ask me today? You know, my team likes it when they just, <laughs> they text me or send me or hand me the questions right when I get on the air. So I can't fuss about it, I guess. But that's okay. All right. The question for Dr. Renee today. Oh, now this is a good one. Now they trying to see how old I really am, right? Um, this question is uh, Dr. Sunday. Uh, we do know that you're a media personality, okay? So I'm paraphrasing because I'm reading and paraphrasing at the same time. But when you actually tell us, tell us the steps that you do that you get on other media platforms. I said, okay, now that's a, you know, that's a paid version, but because <laughs> I coach people for that. But I'll tell you real briefly, real briefly. First thing, first thing that I do is uh, I. You know, Google is nice. Google is wonderful. Google is wonderful. They're saying I got a little feedback, so they're going to fix that while we're talking. Uh huh. You actually um, Google, you Google different radio, TV shows, and then what you do is you go to their individual website. Uh huh. You go to their individual website, and you got to make sure that you match what their vision is. You need to match what their vision is. You got, you got to do that, okay? Because, you know, I can't be on a dog commercial. Well, actually, I could be on a dog show because I do grief counseling. So I could, I could uh, talk be on that. But just realistically, for instance, if I'm promoting my book about uh, my entrepreneur mandate or the book that's coming out the, about uh, uh, 50 things women need to know about a car. Now, that wouldn't fit on a dog show, okay, on a pet show. So you're supposed to be able to check all that out before you even send them an email, before you inbox them, or however you're going to call them, whatever, whatever. Now, the next thing, just real quick, real quick, the next thing is when you send that email, don't tell them you were born in Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> they don't want to know that. They want to know the meat of the thing. Think about Twitter. Twitter's 100 and what is it, 40 characters, I think. They want it that little to tell me. You know, and go by the rules that they say. Meaning I said rules, guidelines. If they say, I think my team, we put it to 150 
words for your bio. So don't send the media people your whole bio, 300 words, a whole, that, that, that. Because when you get to the big league, you know what I'm saying? You know, because you know I've been on um, ABC, I've been on a- AIB, I've been on TV. They don't want to read all that kind of stuff, okay? Mm-hmm. They're not going to read it. they just going to go to the next person. And then you got to have a professional headshot, not just what you took with the iPhone, the Android. You can't have all that. And no dog, no need to be in the picture. I love animals, not being funny. They want to see a headshot. That means not your sofa in the back. Not a background at all, really. So anyway, that, that's just a tip of the iceberg. You know, you got to be prepared. You need to know everything about that show just like you were the host of the show. And that makes it flows better, right? So anyway, I talk to the person more in detail because they actually end up becoming one of my clients because that's just a tip of the iceberg. You know, it's a lot goes in there. What do you email them? What do you not email them? So anyway, I, I am a media coach, so we can help you with that if you want that. But that was just, that, that was a freebie, right? <laughs> Amen. But we got to get to the amazing, amazing guest we have today. We have an awesome woman of God. She's an apostle. She's a prophetess. Uh, just a, a wonderful young lady. I met her, and, and I, her spirit. You know, the thing about it is we need to, we know people by their presence, how they actually, how they're they nice and kind. You know what I'm saying? But we want to welcome, welcome none other than Apostle Prophetess McFarland to a good deed. Are you there? Amen. Yes, I am, Dr. Sunday. And thank you, thank you. I am so honored to be a part of Good Deeds Radio today. I want to thank every listener out there today. I do not count this robbery that where God has opened this door for me to be able to get on here and talk about my book that I basically had just put out. But before I go into that, as Dr. Um, Sunday already stated, my name is Apostle McFarland. I am the founder and the CEO of Yensenay LLC, where I humbly serve as author, counselor, spiritual teacher, and a communicator with strategies to liberate others who are in deep, dark places. Do you know how many people out there that are in deep, dark places, Dr. Sunday? and they feel like there is no one out there to help them or assist them. I deal with people on a daily basis who deal with rejection, along with other devastating areas of their lives. I minister, and I deal with areas that go beneath the surface because sometimes people deal with things, but they don't want no one to go in that secret place. And for that reason is the reason why I wrote this book called The Life of a True Prophet. I'm excited, Dr. Sunday, because God has truly, truly blessed me. He has blessed me not only to write this book, he has blessed me and opened up doors this year for things that happened with this book, and I am so honored. I do not count it robbery, and I do not take it lightly that the eternal creator has blessed me to be able to share my life story, the life of a true prophetess, with others around the globe. I thank him today because regardless of what I went through in life, my model is that you can make it. If I can make it, you can make it. Everyone can make it if we choose to. So in saying that, I would like, first of all, to get the preliminaries out the way because I do want to share one important thing. I want to share, first of all, the preliminaries, get them out the way as far as where the book is located. It is located on several major platforms, Wordery USA, California Books, Book Nakra, Prep Books, Movie Mars Books, Russell Books, Blackwell's U.S. Track Services to USA, and Amazon. It's also on um, uh, Liz, uh, uh, excuse, me, excuse me, it's on uh, uh, Baker & Taylor, excuse me, Baker & Taylor. I just want to thank God for the Ingram catalog that also has, it's, it's, it's a few major platforms that where it's just so many that sometimes I just have to really think about where this book is located. But I thank God today because in this book I share, I share about, and I'm not going to give all the goods. I'm not going to give all the goods, but what I am going to say, Dr. Sunday, and to my audience out there today, I want to let everybody know that this book is a life changer. It's a life changer because, number one, 
I don't, I don't skim the surface. I, I, I spit it out there. I put, I put it out there with wisdom. I let people know exactly what took place until the age of 28. Birth was the place of where rejection started. How many of us out there know that rejection is a monster? It is a monster if it's undetected and undealt with. And because of rejection, which that's why I'm going heavy on today, because of the rejection that had took place in my life in the womb where my parents desire for me to be a boy, I don't hold that against them. That is what they desired. But what they did not understand is that as a, as a baby inside, I felt that. And because of that rejection, I came out and there was a crack, a crack to the inches of my life that where it just kept snowballing and snowballing and snowballing. And as a result of that rejection and that crack getting wider, as you will read in the book, not giving everything out, but just to let you know, that it caused major, major, major issues in my life that where no one could see me really drowning. I mean, if people saw it, maybe they, they, maybe they really couldn't help me or maybe they didn't have the answers. I'm not sure. But what I do know is that I went through a lot from the womb to 28. I just want to, if I may, Dr. Uh, Sunday, I just want to share a little piece of this, this book uh, it's coming from Chapter 3. And in, in my book, I do take Erickson's psychosocial model because I use it somewhat in comparison to show uh, uh, as far as my life, where I should have been as far as a child all the way up to an adult. And during this stage, I'm going to talk about where it was uh, from age 10 to 15 years old, and this is for male and female. In this stage, uh, a 10- to 15-year-old deals with industry versus inferiority, which means that a child must deal with the demands to learn new skills or risk a sense of inferiority, failure, and incompetence. What happens is if, that, if that's broken as far as learning new skills, how many of us out there know today that that can actually alter our identity? This is where the identity versus the identity confusion comes in. And because of that, I was crying out for help. Now, on page 88, I'm just going to share a brief of this, and then Dr. Sunday, I'm going to let you have it. But I want to share something because there's three major points that I have in this one passage that I want to express to the church today. I want to express to the people of God today. First off, to expound on point number one, we know that the enemy is going to do his job. That, that's just, we're not giving him no credit. That's just what he does. But in this passage, I'm going to even show about myself, okay? It was myself that we was having the issue. But then there's the church, and I'm going to explain this in just a minute. So this is a cry for help. It says, my, child was practically, my childhood was practically destroyed. It took off all too fast. I had to battle between the flesh and the spirit as a young girl. And I never had the weapons to successfully win. All the while, people around me, even those in the church, were unaware of my full rebellion. By the time they all looked around, at the time my name was Cassandra before it got changed to Yensene, Cassandra was pulled away from the church, and it was too late. Wait, I hear the question. How can someone who professed to love God attended church services, sang on the choir, as second soprano, took communion regularly, was water baptized, and had grandparents who loved and served the Lord walk away from God. Well, simply put, it was possible to walk away from the Lord because of the craftiness of the devil. The other part of the problem was me. See, I had to take ownership because even though I said he was doing his job, but I had to take ownership because it was, there were was some parts in there that was me, that where I was responsible for. There was the sin in my life, even though I had a call in my life as, as a prophet, as a child of God who I was, there was responsibilities that where I had to come to God and turn over the sinful things in my life. I was hiding the pain and all of my deep, dark secrets inside, never getting help. I always questioned why no one detected what was going on with me. Were the adults too busy being caught up in their own personal lives? 
what, where they couldn't discern the signs of a young girl with problems? Couldn't the adults not see past the phony smiles and the smirks that hid my ugly truth? And the reason why I, I bring this out, and I say this to the church in respect. I love God's people. But what we have to understand is that people every day are walking around, and we don't know deep down inside whether it's a, a child, whether it's a teenager, whether it's a, a, a man or a woman, are walking around hurting. And we have to have the discernment that, that God is calling for us to raise it to a standard, hallelujah, that we can discern and we can see past the smiles, past the mask of those that are dealing with the inner struggle because you don't know. You may just be that person's helping hand to keep them from committing suicide. See, me as a child growing up between the age of 10 and 15 years old, I was already dealing with a lot of things. Yes, I took ownership for my sin, but I was still hiding behind a mask. And I want to let the church know today that you too can make it. I want to say to every person out there today, you too can make it regardless of what's, what's going on in your life. I don't care where you've been. I don't care where you are in life. Know that God has a purpose. Oh, hallelujah. He has a purpose for you. And know this, you too can make it. So, Dr. Um, Renee, that's what I wanted to share out of my book today. And I, as I stated, they can find my books on a major platform. They can also find me on Facebook on, under Yensene. They can find me on Twitter under Yensene. I also have another um, platform where I'm on YSNLLC.org. Thank you for allowing me to share that today. <laughs> Apostle, you fireball, you fireball. <laughs> you know what? When you, ha, ha, but, but let me ask you. Let's step back a little bit. Let's step back a little bit. Um, you know, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm part of the powerful ministry as well. I, I was one of them people that didn't know. I, I mean, you know, other mm-hmm. people had to tell me that I. Uh, well, you a minister, you a pastor, you, I'm like, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I had to go before the throne. But let me ask you this, because you touched on it so heavily. Unfortunately, yes. you know, I'm gonna say unfortunate. I'm gonna say it just. I'm gonna just be real with it. You know, yes. um, in today in this world, it's so much going on. I mean, you know, the government doing this, the the, the media, and I try my best to stay in line and of of, of of doing this. Who will be a servant in the media? But with so much going on, I mean, we saying believers and non-believers. That's How right. do you think that we need to stay? I mean, first of all, we got to stay focused and not not because you know if you're That's a right. fight, you can lose your your mind can can move just switch right then. But what, what advice do you give? I mean, because you know we do the we do the resolutions every year. We do the you know the, the, the this and that and that. We, we do the corporate fast, but like you say, I mean. What should we do to help people? And you're doing it so wonderfully with your platform. But well, what is all of us can do to help everybody? I mean, really, to be in a purpose, number one, and individually in your own secret closet, be focused. Thanks for asking that, Dr. Renee. First of all, if, if our, our, our standard of discernment has to come up because Number one, a lot of times, and this is not to put the body down, there are people that are in sync, but then a lot of times there are those. I mean, to be honest with you, I have been in that place that where I was distracted by a lot of things and wasn't able to do what the Lord had called me to do. So first of all, I had to center myself. I had to uh, regain my, my focus, my focus, and, and say, okay, God, you know what? I need to put you first. I need to get re- rededicated. I need to reposition, realign myself so that I can be able to be used by you in a way that you're calling me to, to, uh, to be used. Secondly, whatever it is that you have in your possession, oh, my God, what, I feel the anointing. Whatever you have inside of you, I don't care. It, you know what? There's no big gifts. There's no small gifts. You know, it, everything is used for the body as long as we do it in the right motive. Okay, so whatever we have, I don't care if it's just giving somebody a piece of bread. I don't care if it's, if if you see somebody struggling to get across the street. You know what? Stop and help that person. 
There's always something to do if we open our eyes, if we open our eyes and see exactly what God is saying in this hour of what we need to be doing. I could walk down the street and someone could be standing there and, and, and the spirit of the Lord will allow me to see that that person just needs a hug. I may not have, I might not even have to say 50 words, just hug them. And when I hug them, you know, and I, I don't just walk up and just hug them. I say, you know what? I feel the need to hug you. May I, may I embrace you? And it's up to them to say, yeah, don't force them. But if they say, yes, I hug them, and you'll be surprised of the tears that stream down their faces. You know, we just got to stop, and we got to take time out of our busy schedule. We just have to move in, in the unction of the Holy Spirit. Make ourselves available is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I totally agree with you. I totally agree. You, you know, Tell us, because uh, someone just, uh, a couple of people are inboxed us. Tell us again the name of your book. It's, it's titled The Life of a True Prophetess. And the subtitle is Exchange Your Route. And once they, they get the book, they'll see why the title, the subtitle is called Exchange Your Route. <laughs> yeah, we all have a crossroads to go. <laughs> but, but tell us, um, what's amazing, I know you're going to probably have a lot of book tours and all that kind of stuff going on. Uh, in regards of in re- with you preaching, your preaching platform, how, how can we, um, you know, book you or come to the, the church that you're affiliated with? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, Dr. Sunday, I kind of jumped ahead. You have to excuse me because I was a little excited earlier. You can find me on Facebook at, y- at Yensene. Just type in, go to Facebook and type in Yensene. You'll find me. It's, it's, it's a rare name. It's not a name that's common. You can find me on Twitter under Yensene. And also, you can find me at Y. S as in Sam, N as in Nancy, LLC.org. You can find me there. Mm-hmm. Well, amen, 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 amen. But you know, we we just thank you because I I could it's, it's the transparency that you have, we love that, and, and we have to do that in order for people to move into their purpose. You know, people know I grew up in the south, and and uh, <laughs> you know, we used to be what stays in the house, what stay in the house, and what what happened in Las Vegas, stay in Las Vegas, uh, and you see what kind of situation we have. Created one and number two, what our kids are actually going through. But the transparency and the pureness of your heart is going it's changing many lives on a daily basis. So we thank you first of all for being in your purpose. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> that's, that's, right. that's a big one right there. Um, you know, mm-hmm. I make a joke with some of my friends. I kind of wish I was a bird at times because, you know, they just go by instinct what God gave them. But then we have that amazing ability to make a choice, but we just got to make That's that right choice to align with him. Amen? Amen, Dr. Sunday. I totally agree with you because, you know what, one thing for sure is that we have to become transparent in order to help ourselves because it's time out for wearing masks. Because this, the mask hasn't gotten us anywhere but in deep, dark places. And that's why I had to write this book. I had to write the book because I wore a mask for so long. And I just want to tell the people of God out there, all over this, this great nation, you don't have to wear a mask. You don't have to wear a mask to please anybody. You don't have to wear a mask because of what happened to you. You know, you don't have to be ashamed in no type of way. Just just come. Come to the Lord just like I did. I came just as I was because I did not know who I was from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. But now I thank him because it is only by his grace that I know who I am today and I'm moving in a direction. Because if somebody would have told me years ago that I was going to be, you know, on platforms, I was going to write a book or whatever, I would have looked at them and I'm serious. I would have laughed because when I looked at my life, I'm like, wow, he has done marvelous and great things because I'm here. I'm here to tell the story. And if anybody that knows me, they know where I came from, and they can testify that he has done a great work. I don't take no glory. I don't take no glory, and it's not for me. It's not for me to keep it to myself. 
is for me to share it. And too many times what happens is people tend to get blessed and they forget where they came from. Oh, my God. They forget where they came from. But they have to remember that he is God. He is real. He is He's the author and the finisher of, their, of all of our faith. And what he, what he wants for us to do is to go out there and show people that he's real. Because, see, too many people have seen so much falseness. But they have to understand, just like he says in 1 Kings 19 and 18, he says, yet I have reserved 7,000 in Israel, all whose knees have not bowed to Baal, and every mouth that has not kissed him. So everybody has not bowed to Baal. And I want to share today and let every listener know and even encourage the, the, the church leaders. I want to encourage the, the, the world and let the world know that there are some honest people. There are some spiritual people. There are some people that really love God that ain't going to sell their soul for money. There are some people out there that, you know what, they'll come preach on, on your platform and they won't ask for a dime. They, 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 they don't care about numbers. They just want to come and they want to share what God has for them. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm one of those people. Because it's, it's, not, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. It's about souls. And we got to get back to the Great Commission. Mm. That's right. That's right, my sister. Amen. Glory to God. Oh Lord, hey, man. I didn't mean to come on here and preach, but I can't help. Oh, no, 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 you did, no, you, no, you were right on. We, we need that. We need that. We need that because it's past time, not time. It's past time, and so Lord, that's right. Me. But we, we, we do want to um, again say that we thank you for being in your purpose. We thank you thank for you. receiving the call, and we thank you so thank much you. for being a guest here on Good Deeds. If you Need us for anything, for me. Um, please, please don't hesitate to contact us. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Woo, ladies and gentlemen, she got me going. Oh, God, a powerful confidence. <laughs> I make more. She off the track. But, you know, all of her information will be on our website and also on our social media platforms. Go out there and get that book. Now, get it, get it, right, as they say, <laughs> as I say sometimes. But, you know, let me let you know this. Um, here at Good Deeds, what we want to do is help you shine that light to the world. The thing about it is, you know, you got to just be, you, you know what, you got to watch our perspective of a thing because the way you feel nine times out of ten, I'm going to say ten out of ten a lot, that you have the wrong perspective. The person didn't meet it that way. They, you know, the message that they sent, they didn't know. I always think it's that, it's that spirit. You pray for that spirit. It's not the person. You see what I'm saying? Because the devil, what he doing? He's looking <laughs> back and forth, seeking who he can devise. Okay, you do have a calling. You do have a reason that you were born. You're not a mistake. Look in the mirror. Say, I'm beautiful and I'm handsome and I'm wonderfully made. But check this out. If you want to actually be a guest on this show or have your own radio show. We do have a couple of spots on Sunday Soul if you actually want to be a, a host just once a month. On a, it's used on a Tuesday, though, from 7 to 8, you have a whole hour. Or if you want your own platform that you on whatever day you want of the week, mm-hmm, we actually have slots on the Good Deeds Media Network for that. And if you need coaching with that, of course, I can take care of that and help you with that. You know, I tell you the stuff that I made a mistake on, so I want you to make a mistake. Amen. But also, if you want, uh, in regards to the TV show, if you want an exclusive of your business, your practice, things like that, we actually have some packages for that. Amen. We got to pay the editor. We got to pay the camera guy. Okay. Okay. Amen. Now, I mean, that's a whole other show, right? And then also, if you want to um, Good Deeds Magazine, uh huh, you can be a subscriber. You can write an article. You can actually do your products and services for all those platforms. And also, we have a publishing company, Sunday Publishing Company. It's time to get that book out. It's time to get that play out. Okay? You got to get it out. People say, that's Sunday. Look like you didn't put two books out. Uh, uh, look like less than 30 days. Show did. I can show you how to do that, right? We got a great team. They keep me on point, though, you know. <laughs> Amen. But also, we have a nonprofit organization called Sunday Foundation, where we actually help people with the basic necessities that we take for granted, the food, clothing, and shelter. And we also have a mentorship program and also a scholarship program. 
You know, I love to collaborate, but it got to be on both sides, right? People have a different thoughts about that today. People have different definitions of what collaboration really is. And I'll let you know what the definition that I know. <laughs> that's a, you know, but that's just a, you know, you may have a different. We can talk about it and we can come to a decision. Amen. But please go to our website, www.renee, which is R-E-N-E-E Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-Y.com. We also have a women's fellowship. That's usually every month here in Atlanta. Chime in with that. We actually do a lot of amazing things that the main things, oh, just like a, a pastor was talking about, mm-hmm. that rejection. You know, we got to get that out the way, all that feeling some kind of way, self-esteem. And then we can, that stems over to what we're doing in the marketplace. Can't go to work on time. You know, get offended when the boss say he wants you to do something. You see what I'm saying? And then you can't even move out to your own business. So we got to get on that. Amen. But anyway, you know I love you, but guess what? God loves you best. You know he loves you best. Yes, yes, yes. Again, the website, www.renee, Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-Y. And I got to say it again. You do have a calling. You do have a reason you were born. You got to do the three things. You got to believe. You got to trust. And guess what? You got to walk that thing out. You got to walk it out, okay? You got to walk it out. I do too. I'm not as if. I'm right on in there with you. <laughs> this is Good D, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. See you next time. Bye-bye.